Some men are born great, others have greatness thrust upon them. Yet, for some others, they achieve greatness through hard work. For Apostle Chibuzo Give Chinyere, it is a combination of all these circumstances as evidenced in the story of his life. Born in October 22, 1973, into the family of Mr. and Mrs. Emmanuel Chinyere Wankwo, Apostle Chibuzo Give Chinyere hails from Ohanko Ndoke, Nokwa East local government area of Abia State, Southeast Nigeria. He started his primary education at the Army Children's School, Port Harcourt, where he obtained his first schooling certificate. He then proceeded to the Government Technical College, Port Harcourt, and later to the famous Akpo Grammar School for his secondary education. While in Akpo Grammar School, the young Chebuzo was under the tutelage of his mother, who was then a graduate teacher at the school. Having successfully completed his secondary education, Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere was admitted to study industrial maintenance engineering at the popular Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Though he was born into a relatively comfortable family in view of the fact that his late father was an insurance executive while his late mom, an educationist, Apostle Chibuzo began fending for himself at a very young age. Like many young men of his generation, Apostle Give Chinyere has experienced the rigors of this world in search for a better life. While in Lagos, Apostle Chibuzo did various kinds of menial jobs, including being a cleaner at the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos. I was born in two places. My father and my mother were joiners. So I ran away from home and I went to, came, went to Lagos. There in Lagos, because I did not have any qualification, so I couldn't get a good job. The first time I came to Lagos, I didn't know anybody. So I slept under the bridge for some time before, you know, I started meeting people and I got where I was patching with some people. I got a job as a cleaner. There I was doing cleaning job until I met um, uh, um, somebody, one Dr. Moshola, late Dr. Moshola, who assisted me to get a job there at the airport, but not, you know, a real good job, con contracting. I did it, but the pay was barely not. It was just, so I've done security job, I've done cleaner, I've done gate man, as a promising young man, Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere had dreams, hopes and aspirations. In an effort to make his aspirations come to fruition, Apostle Chibuzo made several unsuccessful attempts to travel abroad in search for greener pastures. But little did he know that destiny had something else in the offing. Though he had a sound Christian upbringing, going by the fact that his late parents were Jehovah Witnesses, Apostle Chibuzo was averse to becoming a full-time gospel minister. However, at the appointed time, he eventually succumbed to the divine call for service in God's vineyard. I got a visa to travel. Everything was done, you know. So I boarded the bus. I boarded it to Yaba. So I was sitting close to, because I normally wear, then 
I wear nika inside this big nika and I wear trousers on top. And the nika must have pocket because, you know, and nika money. So I don't want somebody to pick my pocket. So before I could pick my pocket, you cannot pick the one inside. So that's where I kept the passport, my passport, ticket, and, uh, uh, and BTA. So I was touching the passport every minute. If I couldn't sleep, it was night, but I was supposed to sleep, I couldn't sleep. So because of that passport, I was touching it, I was touching it, I was touching it. And I was sitting by the window, 30 minutes before we reached. So I, I touched it, it's still there. So as soon as we entered Jibo, that Jabba, I was driving, I touched it, it disappeared. I screamed. So everybody said, what is this? I cried. I knew it was not, nobody stole it. I knew it was God that took it because he had been telling me I have to do his work. And I told him I will not do it. That I prefer to do it overseas. But then I watched American pastors and I wanted to be like that. So I said, okay, God, as you want me to do this work, if I die, will I do it? I'm going to jump into that land, into Todd Land Bridge. I entered the bus and went to Todd Land Bridge. I stopped. When I dropped, I was about to jump into Todd Land Bridge. Suddenly, but there was a flash, and I saw a fire. So I saw a fire, but that would help me. I said, no, I don't want to go to a fire. So from there, I said, okay, I'm ready to do this one. Having realized his divine mandate, which is to preach and propagate the gospel of God to the nooks and crannies of the earth, Apostle Chibuzo Gif Chinyere left his former church, the Mountain of Fire Ministries, to set up a ministry that has today become the toast of thousands of Christian faithful in and outside Nigeria. Omega Power Ministries OPM, which has Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere as its general overseer, came into existence four years ago with a vision to win souls for God and restore man back to his lost glory. The church, which started with few members four years ago, has witnessed unprecedented growth in both population and infrastructure, making it one of the fastest growing ministries in Nigeria. With well over 230,000 members, Omega Power Ministries OPM today has 38 branches in Nigeria, including Ghana and South Africa. Most of our branches we prefer to acquire. Most of our branches we acquired place. Like the one we are opening in US, we just bought the place. The one in US, we bought the place. Then the one in, we, we just acquired, I think, four plots at Abuja, where we, where we build the church. But right now, we're saying another place. Then Abba place, the one in Abba, we bought it. The one in Onet is our property. The one in Elime is our property. The one in Isu is our property. The one in Abba is our property. The one in Omar is our property. Every is our property. We have about 230,000 members. And it's growing by the day. It's growing and growing and growing and growing. So, there's no space. Again. The idea of setting up many branches of OPM, especially at the grassroots, was appreciated recently when Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, in company of his wife and other members of the church, visited the palace of the paramount ruler of Eleme Kingdom in River State, King Emere S.O. Ejire. Father, OPM, not only it will it be a one part in Eleme, it will spread in the whole ten communities in Eleme, yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Each community will feel the impact of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every decision, every discussion, every arrangement I've made here today, hand it over to you. Amen. It will come from your throne of grace. Amen. No mistake, no mistake decision that will be taken here. Amen. Every decision that will be taken in this palace shall be to your own glory Amen. and to the shame of the devil. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because this is the King's palace. Yes, I'm using this place as a point of contact. Every part of the element. And dedicate a living in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony to what you made a 
King Ejiri, who thanked Apostle Chibuzo and his entourage for the visit, expressed satisfaction over the setting up of an OPM branch in Eleme Kingdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, before I start, I give glory to Almighty God. And I thank the Lord for remembering that some people are living at this corner. And to think of coming to visit me and my chiefs and Lord, that has that bring peace and unity amongst us. Amen. I know that people don't like people who are progressing, but whatever happens, if you are progressing and you side yourself with God, you need to, reach, to go where you want to go and you will reach there. Amen. The army of people who worship at the OPM's headquarters in Port Harcourt every Sunday speaks volume of the efficacy of the divine mandate of the ministry which God has been using to positively impact on the lives of many in the society. Each Sunday, there is usually an outpouring of striking testimonies from members of the church who have not stopped thanking God for giving them a spiritual father such as Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, who they say is a man of God with exceptional qualities and gifts. Apostle Chibuzo Shinyere is a man that is divinely blessed. A man who, when he was less than a year old, was thrown from a three-story building and landed and did not die. That would tell you God has imparted something in him. Um, you can look at the crowd we have here. He has touched the lives of a lot of people. He's a young man who did not want to do pastoral work. He wanted to go abroad to wash plates. But somehow God touched him and brought him back. And that is why most of us, a lot of us have gone through the thick and thin of this world. Most of us, we are in the world. We go to clubs, we do everything that you can think of. But you see, today we have decided to worship God in the true spirit because of what he has imparted into us. You don't need to see him, you don't need to talk to him. To receive this gift. If you step into this land and you believe in God Almighty, you will see God's work at hand. It is not him that is doing it, it is Dr. Jesus. My pastor, my father in the Lord, my pastor, gift, 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 he's a wonderful man of God. My, my contact with him changed my entire life. As you can see, see thousands of people trooping and trooping out in this ministry. It's just because of what God has used it to do in the lives of people. He has affected lives, spiritually and physically. In every elevation of life, he affected people. Her Royal Majesty, Dr. Mrs. Fumilayo Robinson, the wife of the monarch of Equia Land, Eze Robinson O. Robinson, is among thousands of people who have experienced the awesome power of God in OPM. Her Royal Majesty, shocked guest who attended her 60th birthday celebration recently when she revealed how she received divine healing of an ailment soon after she contacted OPM. Before I go on, I want to remind myself that I was born into a Christian family. When I say Christian family, I mean an Anglican communion, baptized, took Holy Communion, each time I see people gathering around in Pentecostal churches, I always laugh at them. As a fact, I do not believe in Pentecostal churches. That's why I'm doing this test. Because I was getting lean and lean every day. 
And each time I said that she tests me for AIDS, my husband said, you are crazy. <laughs> I said, that uh, it's like dividing me into three, just a part of me was left. So one day my brother came to visit me in the hospital. And he said that the last was of somewhere. I said, where? He said, it's, o, it's called OPM. I said, where? For about three weeks, I drank only pop. I would take just few spoons of it in order to be able to take my medicine and injection. So I decided to follow him to OPM. Honestly, I went into OPM with the true slippers. I had my husband's socks warm up to the knee. And I had a sweater that I always wear when I'm in, when I'm in London in winter. I had it on. So I went in and sat down. Few minutes after I had sat down, I, I became, I, I was very cold. My feet were cold, my hands were cold. So I said, if it's cold like this, I will not be able to go through this house. So I said, okay, let me pray to God. So I prayed for about 15 minutes. I asked God, if this is, the, if this is really the box, the last box stop, please God, manifest it. Let me know it. So after praying for about 15 minutes, I sat there clapping hands and singing. Then all of a sudden I felt I had some heat. So I removed my socks. My brother's wife was looking at me. Few minutes later again, I removed the heavy cardigan I had. After about one hour, I know I, I felt better. I had to uh, put the cardigan on top of the seat. They were all watching. About an hour after, I told him I was very hungry. He said that very much. They sell food behind. Let me take you there. So we got there. There were so many different types of food there. And I could not, you know, um, I didn't like the order. So I said, okay, take me away from here. There are too many things here. There's too many food. So she took me out. We went to the driver and said, okay, go home. Tell them to make me a mother and uh, uh, stew and the way and bring it. So they did which I have not eaten for more than uh, six weeks. So they brought it and I ate. I left the remaining in the car and went back to church. After another one hour to two, I felt hungry again. I went back again to the car and I ate. And then when I left, I left the church around four. For more than uh, two months, I had not done my hair. I was looking on Kent. So I went back home. Instead of going to the hospital, I took my bath and changed my dress. And I looked stronger. When I got to the hospital, I asked my dad, what did happen? I said, I'm coming from OPM. He said, the nurse is, ah, this OPM is a wonderful place. Because you didn't look this way when you left this place in the morning. So my dear brother, I, it's like, God wanted me to know that she is the most powerful. <laughs> Because before now I go to church, I read Bible on Sundays. When I get to my book, Bible somewhere, to pick it up again the next Sunday. But since I started book here, honestly, almost every day, in my two telephones, all the Bible, all the books in the Bible are there. When I'm in the car, I'm pressing and reading Bible, and I'm praying. So I thank God for everything. I thank God for, God for his mercies. I knew I was in trouble when I saw my husband cry. <laughs> The manifestation of the awesome power of God in the life of Apostle Chibuzo Gift Chinyere has today made OPM a meeting point for spiritual rejuvenation. Little wonder prominent members of the society ran to OPM for divine solution to their problems. God created you for a special purpose. If 
We are not being created from a special purpose. That's how it says from up and to the ground. That's what we are being sent. We are dying there, we will not know our food there. But to survive that and other things, and today, you all can testify to the wonderful job you did do. And also testify, because I've come to his survival when I have problems. I believe that him. this land and you believe in God Almighty, you will see God's work at hand. He has established God's presence in our time. My, my contact with him changed my entire life. But he has really blessed the life of those of us that are staying in that uh, Bundu waterfront. So God made it for him to, to, to make himself available, you know, to transform the life of the youth. I thank God. Who is our dad before you? Wipe away my tears today. God has used Apostle Chibus or Chinere to bless the widows today. He said, I should not get the product of my food, that my food that raised for us to come to the man. And I spoke with him, I was there for you. We also did a prayer called Mercy Prayer. I went to him, I went to him, he told me, Oh Lord, be saved. God is in charge. And today it has manifested. It's the seven bad days, it's the seven, days, seven years of, of golden moments. I wish him more anointing to grow higher and higher. At such a tender age, at 37, you can see what God has done in his life. He's worth celebrating. And definitely, we are going to roll out the drums to celebrate his 37th birthday. The 38 will come by when he's 40 years, devil will run away. And Dr. Jesus all the way, in Jesus' name. Concerned about the people's spiritual growth, which is in line with the mandate of the ministry, Apostle Chibuzo Chinyore instituted the Omega Bible Institute that has since inception trained scores of worshippers who now have a deep understanding of the scripture.
the biblical revelation of how Jesus Christ fed a multitude of people with just five loaves of bread and two fishes is perhaps an exemplary initiative with so much lessons for the church today. Apart from ensuring the spiritual upliftment and growth of its members, the church is also expected to see to the material well-being of those in need. This was exactly what Apostle Chibuzo did when he conceptualized the OPM Foundation with the aim of reaching out to the poor and needy in the church and society at large. Having experienced the rough times of life himself, Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere has come to realize that the twin problems of ignorance and poverty could be counterproductive to the primary objective of the church. A hungry man cannot pray much because he's hungry. And a lot of people are backslidden because they're hungry. So I have this passion. I said, ah, I where, where I was and what I went through when I was a very, very poor man. So that was what gave that. I said, okay, let us start this OPM Foundation. All the money that we have used to do OPM Foundation comes from the church. We have free paint making, we have free computer training. Not just free computer training, we have free computer training at the church headquarters. They have free computer training at Bundu Waterside mm, going on. We employ teachers, they are teaching them. No matter the church you come from, whether you're Muslim or Christian, just go there and learn from church. We have um, presently 25 people benefiting um, from at the state on the scholarship, university scholarship. Then by also last week they took exam for 36 people from each person from each state each person from each state they took exam they will the church will train them from year one because scholarship is only for those in year one so from year one to their final year i didn't have opportunity to go to university so i said that if i didn't have opportunity to go to university let people have opportunity let me give other opportunity to go to the university. The OPM Foundation, which is today making a difference in the lives of the less privileged members of the society, is being driven by Apostle Chibuzo's passion for humanity. Consequently, thousands of youth and indigent members of the society are now self-reliant, having been empowered with various skills under the Free Skills Acquisition Training Program of the OPM Foundation. Only recently, over 70 residents of Bundu, one of the waterfront settlements in Port Harcourt River State, graduated from a four-month free computer training program initiated by the OPM Foundation. It has really blessed the life of those of us that are staying in that uh, Bundu waterfront and so many people that would have maybe joined one form of militancy or the other were a kind of engaged to do this program. I thank God and I give God all the glory for using OPM to accomplish this task. The knowledge I got here was awesome and also through the morning prayers and everything our lives have changed. Now we, are, we can be able to manipulate the computer like what the pastor said and also we can repair them. So God made it for him to, to, to sell it as in, you know, make himself available, you know, to transform the life of the youth. I, I thank him so much. At least today, this has upgraded my CV. It has added something in my life. Today, I can, I can operate computer. I am no more an, an a novice in, in, in information technology. The idea of setting up a computer training center in Bundu was conceived by Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, who noted that the move will complement efforts at reducing poverty and youth unemployment in the area. There are some schools, some schools owned by churches that even the members cannot be able to pay the school fees. Members of the church cannot afford the school fees to go to that school. So that's why I put the school free of charge. And my vision is that build the first free university so that other churches, other pastors can learn. I said, no, this money is God's money. We are just caretakers. This money is not our money. God gives us to manage it for his people, to manage it for him, to touch life.
life because of our money. I can decide. Nobody will query me if I decide to open school and you know make money from it. But no, we we'll put it to touch lives. If you step into this land and you believe in God Almighty, you will see God's work at hand. He has established God's presence in our time. My, my contact with him changed my entire life. But he has really blessed the life of those of us that are staying in that uh, Bundu waterfront. So God made it for him to, to, to make himself available, you know, to transform the life of the youth. I thank God. We use our dad with him. So wipe away my tears today. God has used Apostle Chibuz or Chinyere to bless the widows today. He's saying that she wanted the father to have food. And Mabu that made for us to come with the man. And I spoke with him and we said pray. We also did a prayer called Mercy Prayer. I'm actually the sea. God is in charge. And today it has manifested. He said seven bad days, he said seven bad days, seven years of, of good moments. I wish him more anointing to grow higher and higher. At such a tender age, at 37, you can see what God has done in his life. He's worth celebrating and definitely we are going to roll out the drums to celebrate his 37th birthday. The 38th will come by when he's 40 years, devil will run away and Dr. Jesus all the way in Jesus' name. The beauty about the OPM Foundation Skills Acquisition Program is that beneficiaries are not just trained but are also empowered with funds to establish their own businesses. In the area of education, the OPM Foundation has made frantic efforts at improving the literacy rates in the country. Today, hundreds of pupils are going to school at no cost on their parents courtesy of a free nursery and primary school built in Ohanko by the OPM Foundation. My younger one, my elder one, all of my graduates, all of them went to university. Oh. In fact, what they were teaching, it was like you are telling story. I could not understand. Because there are many things I'm thinking. So the thing could not come together. Now you stand up, I can come out. Shout hallelujah. That's okay. Now I didn't go to school. I am going to invest in school. That was where the school started. I look at this. The people, they have government school, but they still charge them money for some things. The so called government school that is supposed to be free is not free. They still charge them money. Some don't even have money to, to buy books. That's okay. I'm going to start this free North Carolina school. Then I will give them books. And I thank God that the people are so many. Amen. Amen. Clap for the Jesus. Consequently, the foundation has offered scholarship awards to scores of indigent undergraduate students. The scholarship award is purely on merit as those who benefit undergo a thorough screening process before being selected. The idea that our general overseer has is to uh, help those parents that can't train their children or those children who are intelligent but don't have anybody who can take care of them from all the states of the federation. Nobody has been asked to pay anything for anything at all. They just come, fill the form free, uh, submit their form, sit for the exams like they are doing now, and those who do well will enjoy the scholarship. While strongly believing in the efficacy of divine healing, the Omega Power Ministries is also not losing sight of the potency of orthodox medicine. This explains why the OPM Foundation initiated a free medical outreach program which is usually extended to remote villages where there is noticeable collapse in public health infrastructure. Beneficiaries of the medical outreach are not only examined by a team of professional medical practitioners 
but they also take delivery of drugs free of charge. The man of God has initiatives and is out to liberate people, is out to solve problems of people financially and uh, health-wise, spiritually too. So the development is around, that is one peculiar thing about, about uh, Omega Power Ministry. They don't only preach uh, deliverance, they equally salvage people from destruction, from hellfire. That is why I am very proud of the church. The widows are also not left out in the package, as soccer has come their way, courtesy of the OPM Foundation. With the donation of wrappers, food items, sewing machines, cash gifts and even cars, the OPM Foundation has over the years succeeded in putting smiles on the faces of the widows. So now, that type of there, you are going to lose Prisoners in River State have also benefited immensely from the benevolence and charitable disposition of the OPM Foundation. The Foundation has in no small measure contributed to the welfare of the prison inmates by making several mouth-watering donations to them. God has made you a partner in LA the prison camps to remove them, rehabilitate them, reintegrate them along. God alone cannot do it. I thank God for your life. The good works of the OPM Foundation has continued to receive commendations, especially from those whose lives and institutions have been touched by the ministry's hands of love. In a letter of appreciation signed by the Chief Superintendent of Prisons Welfare on behalf of the River State Controller of Prisons, reads thus, and I quote, I am directed to express the appreciation and gratitude of the Controller of Prisons Rivers Command and the entire prisons management to your church for the kind donation of computer equipment to Elele Prisons inmates. On behalf of the Nigerian Prison Services, we wish to thank you immensely for this kind gesture and pray that the Almighty God replenish your resources in a million fold. End of quote. In view of his hard work, diligence and commitment to the service of God and humanity, Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere is today a recipient of several awards from various individuals and organizations. The latest award is coming from a group of journalists under the edges of Association of Field Reporters in River State. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this juncture to come on that of the moment, a human transformer, a soul winning apostle, the ordained man of God, an achiever, a spiritual giver, a philanthropic, humble and unique servant of God, and father of the number two left in the universe, apostle King, for an award of excellence as the most.
National Association of Field Reporters in Nigeria, River State Chapter, I hereby present this award of honor to the man of God, to encourage him to do more because we we'll love what he's doing. God bless him. into this land and you believe in God Almighty, you will see God's work at hand. He has established God's presence in our time. My, my contact with him changed my entire life. But he has really blessed the life of those of us that are staying in that uh, Bundu waterfront. So God made it for him to, to, to make himself available, you know, to transform the life of the youth. I thank God. Who is our dad with you? God has used Apostle Chibu Zochinere to bless the widows today. He said he has promoted the product of our food, that our food that made for us to come to the man, and has come to him, and we said to him, we also need a prayer called Mercy Prayer. I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it, be saved. God is in charge. And today it has manifested. It's the seven bad days, it's the seven, days, seven years of, of golden moments. I wish him more anointing to grow higher and higher. At such a tender age, at 37, you can see what God has done in his life. He's worth celebrating. And definitely, we are going to roll out the drums to celebrate his 37th birthday. The 38th will come by when he's 40 years, devil will run away. And Dr. Jesus all the way, in Jesus' name. Come October 22nd, 2010, family, friends, relatives, close associates, and the entire OPM family will gather to celebrate with Apostle Chibuzo Gift Chinyere, who will be celebrating his 37th birthday. The Apostle will be accompanied by his lovely wife to celebrate what has been described as 37 years of great achievements in the vineyard of God. It's the seven bad days, it's the seven, days, seven years of, of golden moments. I wish him many, many more years and more grace, lots of grace, God's grace, abundance of grace in his life. I wish him more anointing, more anointing to grow higher and higher. I believe by the time he gets to 40, he will touch so many lives in both in Nigeria and outside the country. At such a tender age, at 37, you can see what God has done in his life. If this man gets to 40, you will see there will be turning points in this world. Not only in this country, but in this world, because we have branches all over the world. So I think he's a great man. He's worth celebrating. And definitely, we are going to roll out the drums to celebrate his 37th birthday. The 38th will come by when he's 40 years, devil will run away. And Dr. Jesus all the way, in Jesus' name. With countless achievements in just 37 years, the years ahead no doubt looks promising and even brighter for Apostle Chibuzo Giv Chinyere, a servant of God who is making a difference in his generation. Yeah. 